the best thing about diary writing, and I, we sort of spoke about this um, last week, is that it helps to logically process the, the, the irrational thoughts that are going on in your mind. Um, I guess a lot of anxiety or past anxiety sufferers will, will know the feeling of that spiralling sensation of when uh, it all seems to be getting too hard and you can't, you feel very cloudy, you feel very, very dusty and you don't really know what's happening. You know what, I guess, the acute... Uh, the acute warriors or the, the acute angst is, but all of a sudden you, you're in some other level and you, you're even more panicky. Keeping a diary helps you understand how you react to things. You see your thoughts on paper, not in your head. For example, Dear Diary, Today I noticed a dead possum on the road as I drove past. It made me think of how fleeting life is and how important it is to cherish the years we have, especially with loved ones. That night I cooked a delicious meal for the family, complete with potato salad, grilled chicken burgers and lemon gelati ice cream. We laughed and told many stories. I took some great photos. I understand death is a part of life and I like to think the possum had a loving family of his own, the poor little fella. I don't even remember what possum I was talking about or when I actually said that or when I wrote this, but uh, look, it was in my diary. And I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna put it in. Your mind will latch onto thoughts and conceive a swell of emotions. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of them. People that race through life or have an inability to stay in the present may get caught up in these reactive emotions. Have you ever been in a shitty mood and had no idea why? Ever been happy or sad for no apparent reason? This is where diary writing kicks in. It helps make sense of things. I believe that diary writing is just another form of self-evaluation or self-evaluation writing. So yes, I still keep a diary um, and I, I probably haven't been writing in it uh, as much as I, as I used to, um, I guess when I relied on it the most, but I still probably get to it maybe twice, three times a week, and I also have an online diary as well, just when I'm on the go, it's just a bit easier. And like I said before in the book, it just it just helps me make sense of things. Even when I'm not anxious or when I'm not worried or when I'm not stressing about something or, you know, um, when I'm just a bit fuzzy, I guess, or a bit cloudy, um, I know that I can just write write down the things in my diary. And what you're going to notice as well when you start doing this is that you're just going to write. It's just going to be a stream of consciousness and uh, you won't really know what you be. You'll kind of be like a madman or a mad woman. This is 2017. <laughs> when I write, I just let my, my, my pen do the talking, I guess. And before I know it, I've got a page in front of me and it's exactly what's going on in my head, just without all of the, the irrationality and the, and the, I guess, the, the inability to, to understand what's really going on. It's always, always easier and simpler when it's on a piece of paper. It's, it's awesome, really is awesome. So give it a go, start diary writing, and be really, really honest with yourself. Don't hide from yourself, don't lie to yourself, because it's only gonna make things worse.